What well, an amazing job he has, though. It's incredible. I mean, it's not just when you're looking at his, his biography there. He, he's, what was that? Fighting Australian gypsies in the outback, dodging bulls dressed as a clown. Sleeping rough on the streets of LA and surviving on a deserted Fijian island, all part of the job for him. I'm here outside Madonna's house. Guy Ritchie's bike is chained up outside, so he's in. And uh, I'm just going to show you basically that Madonna's a down to earth person. She leaves her house and she walks all the way to her local gym, which is, well, here. Hello, Guy. I don't suppose you mind if I take a couple of pictures on your way out, do you, mate? Uh, yeah, it's okay. Okay. Uh, guy's just come out of his house, he's unchaining his bike. I thought you'd just ask me whether I'd do mine. That didn't go particularly well. He's obviously quite annoyed because we're outside his house. And, uh, you know, he doesn't really want his picture taken. But um, maybe I bottled that a bit, maybe I should have just hosed him down. It's quite odd because I'm, I'm quite a polite guy and I felt fucking awful just stood outside his house saying, can I take a picture? I was quite demoralised, actually. I felt, I genuinely felt really bad, like, he didn't want his picture taken, I didn't really want to take it. I think that's probably quite an awkward moment. I just got a shot at the back of his arse as he rode off, that's not going to make me any money. Celebrity spot, Guy Ritchie comes out of his house, he's like a sitting duck, and I'm there with my camera, and of course I bloody bottle it, and I, <laughs> I actually asked him if I could take his picture. Guy Ritchie, can I take your picture? And of course he said no. Uh, you know, I'm supposed to be a paparazzi, I should have just... Been, I should have lit the fucker up, I should have taken a thousand frames, stolen his soul, but instead I was polite and uh, I think I was me and not the, not the evil paparazzi that I should have been. Welcome to Loaded.co.uk. This is the 2007 Loaded Laughter Awards with Nivea for Men. I'm one funniest man, yeah. which, uh, which is which is lovely. Really. I don't quite know how it worked because I was in a category with Alan Carr. That's right. He's the funniest man in the world. He's done well tonight. He's done very well tonight. I've got to say, Justin, that's what I'm talking about. Absolutely, massively well deserved. Thank We've you. Got man. a massive fan base below you. Oh, thanks ever so much. Fantastic. Thanks Again, a lot. No, because we were here this time last year. So yeah. Thank you very much. What do you think makes a man funny? A man? Obviously a good sense of humour. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got a favourite chat up line? I hate chat up lines. Really? Yeah, they're just really cheesy. No, really I've, cool. I've got one I want to use on you. Try it out. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Get your coat, I've got a knife. Right. <laughs> Surprise. Guess who's at number 69? I think my all-time favourite sex symbol has to be Abby Titmus. Hi, I'm Abby Titmus. She's sexy, we know that she's great at sex, and she shifts copies. Abby Titmus was simply John Leslie's girlfriend. She was in the background of the photographs when he was in all kinds of trouble. Someone spotted her, and within long, she'd done a magazine feature. Then suddenly, she's on the front cover of Loaded magazine, and she's a massive superstar. Like Claire got bought one, I'm desperately trying to get a hoover that doesn't have a cord because it just annoys me. Because I am getting a bit fastidious about cleaning. Mm. But I think that's the thing about Can having... Can you get a cordless hoover? No, well, this is the problem, Jeff. You can't <laughs> get a cordless hoover, a big cordless hoover, <laughs> and it's infuriating me. <laughs> is this striking nice. a cord, Jeff? Not really, no. I mean, I think, you know, every man you know, wants a girlfriend that's not on the breadline. But um, I think we all, we all kind of have that dream of coming home and finding fish fingers on the table. Well, it's, it's just exactly a natural thing. Yeah. Fish so glad I'm not married to Jeff. But you are a handsome lad. OK. <laughs>